centro de convenciones. Aquí estamos en el centro de convenciones de Austin, Texas. Vamos a hacer un tour en este autobús, que es un autobús y es un bote que el autobús puede entrar al agua. Y vamos a ver cómo va a estar. Ahí está la, el señor dando instrucciones. Enseguida vamos para allá. This over here is the Driscoll Hotel, built in 1986 by Colonel Jesse Driscoll. Colonel Jesse Driscoll was both a Confederate officer and a cattle baron. I think this gentleman descends the second one. How about a crocodile with this gentleman over here at the Driscoll? Three, two, one, get him! That's a lot better, a lot better. Back in the day, it was $400,000 to build. $400,000 to build. That's about $10 million in today's money. It was recently put out for sale, and somebody bought it. How much do you think they bought it for? Come on, anybody. How many millions? How many millions? You're way up. Keep going. They bought it for $100, that's right. It was $100 million in Austin, 1910. It was also the tallest building in Austin, seven stories tall. By today's standards, it was a skyscraper. Now, Mr. Littlefield, literally, he cheated on the last one. The last story was about five and a half foot tall. It was only used for illegal sessions of poker and gambling. Now, we're on our Congress Avenue. Congress Avenue is the one street in downtown Austin that goes north to south that is not named after a river. And why is she so bad? Look at this lady. Why is she on her PJ? Former Major Woodridge didn't like the idea of having it in there. So he cleaned it up, planted all the trees, and put that pergola over there. This is Sean Smith. And that's my old boat. What is going on? How have you been? Uh, what is he saying? Somebody translate for me? We got new boats. New boats coming in. More boats? New ones. What are you doing with my what are you doing with my baby? Are you really? Oh man. Everybody, give a bucket away to the hardest working boat captain owner in their tired uh they cost it. Sean Smith, three, two, one, get him! Stay in touch, dude. By the way, that's Martini, that's my old boat. I used to work charting this one. Uh, yeah, it has seen better days. A lot of bachelorette parties on this boat. A lot. Also, a lot of white claws. Yeah. I miss that boat, it was good to me. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah? Okay, let me ask you a question, because I know if this happens quite often, you'll be surprised. Every once in a while, we'll have somebody in here that doesn't know that this thing actually goes in the water. And they're always sitting up front freaking out. Are we good? Everybody knows that we're about to splash, right? Okay, let me get some better music for this. Yeah? A lot better? Everybody grab your partner before I'm about to do this. In three, two, one, go! That's right. Look at that. We are floating, perfectly floating, and definitely not sinking. Listen, this is the perfect time for you to move around, bend up, stretch your legs, all that stuff. If the little ones want to touch the water, two miles of hiking bike trails. Back in the day, this lake did not look like this. It was super ugly. It was bare. There were no, uh, no trees. Look at that. Look at all that people. Aquí estamos viendo el centro de Austin, Texas. Estamos en el Congress Bridge, el, el puente más importante de Austin. 